Alright, here, here's another Rebecca Lim Pope video. And I've I've been itching to do this one when it came when uh, it came out and everybody was roasting the fuck out of it. So w let's let's hear Rebecca Lynn Pope's explanation on why black women fail at marriage. And here's the thing: I really do believe that black women are the most open when it comes to dating because low key they kind of have to. And despite them being open, even if they're into bisexuality, um, they're into IR dating. They're still like in the last place for all measurements of desirability. So it's it's just kind of it's it's just I kind of just laugh because to really like black women are like they're like they have the most options and the least options at the same time and it's just crazy just watching them lose and they still don't get it and what's crazy is that they still think that they're fucking perfect. <laughs> What? What? Twenty percent of women, black women. And I also taught in divine dating workshop with Liz last week. We did a three-hour Q and A. It was a divine dating workshop. And um, and I'm gonna take my time today. I'm not gonna rush because there are some very key points that I need to make. I said some things inside of the divine dating workshop as women were asking me questions that I realized there were some main key points that I have not probably said publicly, but I'm saying it inside of the class. And I could tell some of them were really shocked by some of the things that I had to say. One of those things being, and now this, this, this video is going to need to come with a couple of warning labels, because I'm sure it's going to trigger some of you. Some of you are not going to want to hear what I have to say. Um, but let's just remember, I already, I already know where this is going. And, you know, the thing is with this, with the whole dating crisis, the whole black woman dating crisis, is that black women are, like, they're kind of at a tizzy to where they're kind of tired of dating the same dudes, but they're afraid that if they don't date, if they date the guys that don't really get a lot of play, even if they're, even if they're white or whatnot, is that... They will get ridiculed. Black women are hypersensitive about what other people think about their dudes. And if you're not a dude that black women are kind of admire or even want to be with, black women will really have no fucking value for you. Even if you're doing the XYZ that black men are taught at birth. Whether you're providing, whether you got a good job, whether you do this, or whether you do that, whether you own your home, own your car, blah, blah, blah. A lot of black women will pass that up and say that those are just nice things. And that thing is more frustrating as a non celeb black man who works hard, being told that the thing that you've earned, you've acquired, is just relegated to nice things. And the black woman turns her fucking head, spins her ass to a Ray Ray and Pookie nigga that has nothing to fucking put on the table. And he's the fucking man, right? <laughs> this is what's crazy. And and the thing is, these dating coaches are going to talk about IR dating and that black women need to really kind of open up to other races. And I'm like, 
other races of men are kind of being more vocal about how they feel nowadays because it's like knowing that black women are also trying to travel they're also seeing how black women are pretty much unfucking civilized they're seeing how they don't conduct themselves as women and they're seeing that they're bringing i, I won't even be surprised if, if, if they don't even want to deal with black women because they're they're kind of probably noticing an std rate rise i'm i'm just fucking saying It, they they know that black women are prone to be pregnant without even giving a damn about what their partner thinks. And it's is I just kind of wish Rebecca Lynn Pope was a little bit more honest when she does her free YouTube videos versus probably her private ones that you have to pay for or attend in person. I just wish she was a little bit more upfront, a bit more frank with him because this is this is some really disingenuous shit. This this is some really disingenuous shit where you you're really trying to make it seem that it's just because black women are just stuck dealing with black men. Now, I'll be honest with you. The reason why black women are stuck dealing with black men is because black women cannot imagine them having sex with other races of men. But other races of men do not have a sexual appetite or a sexual kind of prowess that is comparable to black men. They're, they're just not sexually attracted to them, at least in large in, enough to change the, the, the realm of dating in, in black America. You know, but white men were kind of entertained for a little bit because... Um, Black women at a time wanted, you know, babies that didn't look like them. You know, they wanted babies with, you know, silky hair, lighter skin, green eyes. And then kind of once, you know, it was kind of exposed in the late 2000s on talk shows like, you know, talk shows to documentaries from Good Hair to the Tyra Banks show. It, it kind of took a toll to it. It was like, oh, well. Even though black women want these designer babies, their self-esteem is off. So now they're just back. To, now they want, you know, babies that look exactly like them or as dark as them or as big as them. But the thing is, do black women really... Care for marriage? <laughs> do they do they care for anything other than themselves? And the thing is, is that you know you can, these these women can be as open as they want, but they will always they will always be in last place. Men are in crisis, and anybody who denies that black men are in crisis is ignoring the data science, the research, the statistics. Okay, uh, all right. So we're going to get to this point to where, okay, black men are in the danger zone. And I'm, I, I'm fine with that. Because when this video came out, I was doing a, uh, I was doing a, a little program in Maryland. And they had, it was like a program, had a side program to where they were trying to get inner city youth. And that was like some, that was like pulling teeth. I was like pulling teeth out. I think for like one section, they only had like one boy show up for the program. At least for this specific program. But there were other black kids in other programs. But for this one program, there was one black kid. And he would show up on and off. So he wasn't really reliable. In in Maryland, due to due to COVID, COVID really exposed it. But they've been doing this even prior to COVID, was that these kids were being pushed into the real world after graduation, after high school graduation, and these kids were still reading below grade level. These kids still had an edu education comparable to a fucking kindergartner. 
to where some of them couldn't even fucking, well, most of them couldn't even fucking read and write. So you have thousands of, of fucking kids, you know, trying to enter the workforce and they're not really even motivated to go to school. Some might be motivated to do the military, but whether wherever they go, they're, they're, they're nine times out of ten going to fucking fail. And we've been trying to get, in general, nationwide, we've been trying to get, you know, black boys into something, get black boys into after school programs because usually in the summertime, I, I'm, I'm actually surprised this summer was kind of quiet. I didn't really hear shit about the, um, the infamous water boy, water, water boys. And, you know, usually these kids are in Atlanta and um, Atlanta and Houston to where, you know, these are like misguided kids who just kind of pop up on like a, a busy intersection. And these kids will try to sell a bottle of water for like 35 bucks. And it's because these kids can't fucking math. They, they, they really think that they can charge... 35 bucks at a fucking ga- at a at a stoplight versus where it makes more practical sense to sell let's say water for like 6 to 10 bucks when you're at like let's say you at a venue like a concert because you can't bring outside food and usually when you're at these events you want to drink so if you drink more you're going to need to get hydrated so they usually bait you in to get water just in case if you don't want to get soda. Okay, a $10 water bottle makes sense versus trying to get, buy a $30 water bottle that I can easily buy for $3 in a fucking pack at a gas station. See, that's that stupid shit that these kids are learning. Because they, they, don't, they don't understand demand and profit and all that. And black women have been neglecting their boys and, and only training their boys to be rap prodigies or play sports. And they just say, fuck the education in general. And this is pretty much why things like this. Um, let me pause it real quick. See, this is, this is why things like this can happen. Programs now co- compare this. I call this the Google Wars, and uh, I've actually had Dr. T. Hassan Johnson actually use this in his talking points, so I, I am quite influential. But I, I call this the Google Wars programs for uh, black girls. Now, all of these so. A lot of these programs for black girls are actually pretty big. These are well-known programs that, you know, get pretty much like corporate funding. The websites are, you know, up to par. They're flashy. They get your attention. And they're pretty legit. So, yeah, look at that. Got Black Girls Leadership Academy, and one thing I did learn, cause I did this a couple a couple months ago, and one thing I did learn was that when they market programs for Black girls, and I actually saw this in one of the programs, and I I, I can't find I don't remember the name of it, but. And oh, I, f- I found one that I really, I really want to drive it to you. But a lot of these programs, their goal is to get girl, get girls into college, like this one, get girls into college, get girls internships, get girls in corporate America. So they want, they want these girls to be in businesses and do the jobs you usually see black women do, like, like on any typical black sitcom. 
like insecure or whatever. So now I want you to comp I would here's a here's the thing that's gonna really piss me that does piss me off. You got this well done, you know, nice website. And you know, they're teaching black girls how to code as young as 12. Now, where I, I'm gonna pull up something, uh, program. I don't know, I'm trying to find the location of their workshops. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, let me just actually Google it then. Uh, Black Girl Code. Locations. Alright, cool. So we got Black Girl Code. Okay, the chapters. So they're in... Damn, they even got one in South Africa. I think they have one in Canada too. Cool. So they have one in Seattle, Washington, the Bay Area, Los Angeles, Dallas, Houston, Memphis of all places, Miami, Atlanta, Raleigh, Durham, DC, New York, Boston, and Johannesburg, South Africa. And I think they had a chapter in Canada. I think so. I, I I don't know, but I don't see it. like maybe they don't have one anymore. But the the South African thing is new. So we we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I didn't even count Detroit or Chicago. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So they have 13 chapters. Now watch this. Oh, it was Black Boy Code that had that. Now, okay, the, the website, really, you know, decent. Okay. It looked kind of mid, to be honest, but, you know. Teaching boys Python. That's pretty cool. I like this because you actually see the boys actually doing the work. I kind of felt like on the black girls code, you're just seeing girls just look pretty and shit. And, you know, not really doing anything. That's just my opinion. So, the workshops. Um, the locations. Honestly, I think they gotten more. I felt like they didn't have as much. But the problem that I have is that they have way more international locations and chapters. Let me put the chart. Okay, I was in Canada's version. Fuck, I'm just trying to find all... What, what's the main one? Fuck. Is this on, like, a Canada-only shit? Like, I'm trying to figure this out. Is it... Is this only... Ah, oh, man. That's pretty low, shamefully. And they probably don't even get no big donors, and they don't really uh, compare to, you know, BT, which granted, you know, black girl code with millions of fucking dollars. Yeah.
And uh, yeah, I, I think this is just probably a Canada. Oh wait, wait, wait. I, I got, it. I see it. I see. It. Right. No, go back. Fuck. So yeah, this is this is Canada. All right, let me go back to the chat. Damn it, now I don't, don't want to pop up bubble cord location. Huh. So, will I get all of them here? Yep, yeah. okay, cool. One. You have fucking one black boy code, and that's only in Atlanta. That is fucked up. That is fucked up. And the rest are in fucking Canada. One fucking program. One black boy code pro chapter. One black boy code chapter in the whole fucking United States. Again, this is just for this. This is just for this nonprofit. There, because I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm not. I'm not stupid. I'm pretty sure there's others. But this is this is pathetic, man. Just one, just one in America. Just this fucking one. That, that's what pisses me the fuck off. Just one. Okay, they came to Chicago. But it's 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 still it's it's still the fact that you, you don't really have a, a strong kind of base where black boys can easily find this shit. A black girl can easily find where to go for coding, but you know a program for black boys to learn coding, you know, it, it's fucking hard. But he, but here's 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 the programs that black boys get. Black boys don't get. Uh, college prep um, they don't get college prep they don't get corporate America prep they don't get workforce prep uh, programs in, in school after school programs or summer programs this is what black boys get black boys get corrective behavior programs that are generally um, fu generally funded or hosted by the fucking police Kind of shifted a little bit. Sometimes, if, sometimes it'll change what pops up. But I'm trying to adjust. Like, what are okay? What are these programs? All right, black boys, men, medicine. Okay, that's nice. Huh? Mentoring. Cause last time I, I looked this up, it was mostly showing. It's probably because of my location. That's probably why. But m most of most of these were like the programs that I first saw. Um, fuck. And the programs that I saw were like behavior programs. And this this is two weeks ago. Oh, come on. Fuck. Oh, it's by the Atlantic. They uh, by Atlanta. I hate when they do that shit. It's like no one's gonna fucking pay that shit. Okay, see the nation doing something. But, you know, a lot, I, 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 I commend them. 
but I don't think that these these kids or these boys are really learning skills. And you no, know, that let me let me see what they're getting. Cause like I I I, I, rec- I commend them, but it's like when I when I see the at risk shit, it's most likely just behavior. Uh, you know, taking them. Yeah, look at that. For empowerment, the focus is on engagement. The youth learn street navigation, engagement in pro-social activities, mentoring, aggression, replacement training, and they receive case management. So basically, anger management, the kids play sports, you know, they kind of just learn how to cooperate and share their toys or whatnot. And it's it's good. It's It's good. But this is this is the problem to where this is our only focus, and there's there's no focus on really shit that gets boys interested in learning because we have to figure out how the fuck do we get black boys interested in learning because black boys are su- are still suffering. This has been an issue for what fifty fucking years that black boys couldn't get their fucking reading. St- Reading comprehension skills on par for your age. Yes, they're, they're, they are set up to fucking fail because. Yeah, they, they, they fucking are. Please stop asking me shit. I wonder if my uh my fucking reader still works. Um, I forgot how to fucking do that. Oh, how did you not can export shit to a PDF? That's interesting. Uh, let me see. Nah, repro. Okay, fuck it. But yeah. Let me go now. Let me go back to all. I want. So let's see what we see for here. A hundred black men of tri- of Triangle East. Uh, is this in North Carolina? I feel like this is in North Carolina. Yeah, it's in North Carolina. I can tell by how it looks in the background. Okay. But what did, what did they do? Mentoring, wellness, education. Let's see how their education. I'm 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 good with. I'm glad. I think they're more like tutoring again these boys to like get engaged with reading. But my, my, my main focus and problem with a lot of these black men groups is that they're not they're not fucking focused. They don't have a it's not like a black girl code or like these other programs to where like they get they have a, a pipeline. Because when I, when I look at shit like this, you know, I feel like these girls have a pipeline to get to the companies that they want to work for. Like let, let's let's go. Be, because again, it, I, it's just, it's just, it's just that there's a lot more focus for and and what's crazy, I don't even think a lot of black women even take advantage of these programs. I feel like they don't. But the I kind of feel kind of frustrated because the, the search options I'm seeing now are are different when I first did this, and I'm like not really I'm not really I don't really know these programs from what I saw the first time. But. Yeah, but the thing is, they don't these these black boy programs. They don't really seem too focused. I think what yeah, what's fucking it up is that I I'm allowing them to know my location, which I shouldn't have done. I should have not logged on with my email. But 
what's this one? But let me guess, it's another behavior program. Social, emotional, yeah, behavior support. It was, there was one that I saw and it was by it was you know sponsored by the, the local police and I, I don't like I said I don't I, I don't mind it it's just the issue is that after you you know you do these little programs these you do these things you, you finish these programs it's like you're not coming out of there with like a really a skill or anything. Like, I want to see, like, black boys learning to weld or, you know, black boys more into coding or robotics. It's it's kind of like this frustration of the only thing black boys can really fucking get is just a behavior counseling and just making sure that they don't go and become prey to the streets, which is fine. But what happened to the boy? What are you going to do for boys who don't need the fucking lecturing about streets and getting girls pregnant and i'm like what do you have what, what do you have for those type of boys and nine times out of ten they don't have anything because really all, all i'm seeing really is just programs let, let me let me do something real quick all right let me try it. black boy programs Uh, this look like another behavior program. I mean, like I said, I can't. I'm not really mad. It's just that I feel like they just will come to blackmail programs, and like I said, there's always a police present. I, I, I fucking hate that shit. Okay. And I'm like, it's it's kind of like a soft prep. Like, I I just, I just get frustrated with these with these black boy programs because it's they don't really teach anything that I care about. And it's like it's it's always this kind of navigating the streets and you know making sure that you behave well, understanding the law, obeying your parents and shit like that. And I'm like. You have pro next, but the thing is, you're worrying about about behavior, but you have girls getting ready and being prepped to be leaders in corporate America at the age of fifteen. And I'm like, what? What is up with this shit? And truth be told, it's like it's the girls that are usually fighting in these schools. But you know, I don't really see too much of you know programs directed on you know adjusting women girls' behaviors at school. And most of the time, they're actually written off as if they're not even a fault of their own fights. Yeah, this shit is linked into location. Fuck. So, yeah, I am not seeing... I can't say I'm not seeing what I like, but I'm just saying I'm not seeing what I saw before. Let me guess. It's another fucking... Behavior. We play sports type shit. For young boys, all generally two hours take the place once a month. During the both students enroll in program. Let's see the Q and A speakers. Career guidance. I think with the, eh, I feel like the, their programs just kind of fall flat. Like it's just mostly, and I, you know these are good. These are these are good, but it's like I need, you know, I I need I need to know a program to where, their like black boys will get a job by the time they get out of high school. That that that's what that's the shit I need to see. 
I don't really care about, like, you know, this other shit and, you know, all this other shit about navigating the streets and all that. I'm like, I, 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 don't, I don't care about, you know, them needing to, you know, some goofball shit. Of field trips and, and just getting hugs all day. I'm like, I'm fine with that, but I'm just saying like, you, you, you are these, will these, how many, the thing that we're, that these black programs need to know is that will these boys get a job within two months of their graduation from high school? Do these boys have a place to work at? And if they don't have one, these educators need to be sitting down with them and they need to be crunching the numbers and figuring out where the fuck they can go. And it may it may even have to go as as these guys needing to buy these kids their own car, or or sh- you know shit like that. It's like I I, I can't with the, with this shit. I I can't. Cause, cause I'm tired of just being. Come, on, come on! I'm really not even. Honestly, I feel like I'm not even seeing much. Uh, let me just put it in America, cause I feel like they're just locking in my location. Programs, 100 black men. National mentor for young black youth. Okay, what they, what they teaching? What's their curriculum? Both formal and informal mentoring on potential benefit black boys in areas we in a r- range of areas, include academics, social. I'm t- I'm tired of this. No, like. Alcohol use, risky behavior such as sexual activity. I I, kind of feel like, uh, recognize that, but again, it's just, it's just behavior shit. I I don't, I don't really care for it. It's like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not seeing girl code worry about teen pregnancy. And it's, it's and honestly, yeah, I, I know I had another video to talk about, but th- this is just kind of frustrating, man. It's this is I just don't see black boy programs that I like because the thing is with the manhood thing is like it's very vague. It's just take care of your kids if you have kids, listen to your mama, work hard. You know, stay in school, just go to college, just to go to college. And I'm just kind of like, black boys need a pipeline that's not leading them to jail. Mm 